Hi there. Today is Saturday, January 7th, 2023, and this is week one of our creative week. Hi, I'm Jennifer of scrapsoflife.com. How are you doing? So in this year's series, I really want to focus on those little bits of creativity that we're able to find in our days and our weeks that are going to really do a great job of, of just helping us live our life better. And um, for those of you who have uh, seen me here on YouTube before, or you followed me elsewhere, you might know that, you know, I made a decision a couple years back where I was like, I can't keep up with both my work stress, the, you know, the bandwidth needed. Um, there was only so much to go around. So I had all this stuff to do at work. And then I had all the creative stuff I wanted to do at home. And I did what I thought was the right thing and chose to put my energy into work, into the day job, because it paid the bills. It did all these things. It was the responsible choice. Well, come to find out, creativity was my biggest, best coping mechanism to deal with all of the stress. And when I stepped away from that. And I don't mean just a little bit of, and I mean, like I gave it the Heisman, you know, um, I, <laughs> I pushed that aside and my mental health started to go drastically downhill. So I had to, and, you know, and, and, and when I learned that I, you know, and, and that that was part of it, I used to always say better living through creativity. I didn't know how important that was, how true that was until I screwed it up for myself. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes instead of making it yourself, um, if you can. <laughs> and join us here each week for our creative week. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the things that I've um, done th this week and, and invite you to um, share in the comments or on our Discord, um, which the link is in the uh, description box down below. Um, you know, what creative things have you done this week? What creative things are you looking forward to next week? Okay. So, um, first off, I want to show you my most recent fiber finish. It is the sweater that I'm wearing. I'm going to stand up so you can see it. It, um, it's essentially this, uh, cropped V-neck sweater, like three quarter sleeve. And then it's got this cute detail in the back. Yep. <laughs> so it's got like a little peekaboo back and has a bow, um, kind of holds the, the um, back in place. And now it wasn't meant to necessarily be a layering piece, but because of how deep the V went, <laughs> once I finished it and put it on, I'm like, okay, that's not going to be worn alone. Good to know. <laughs> but it works really well, well with, um, a button down underneath. I could also see doing like a um like a, a cami or tank or something like that. Um, you know, uh, that um, you know, that just kind of covers the girls a little bit. <laughs> so the other big thing that I've done this week, this first week of the year, is um I'm participating in a January art challenge over on Instagram. I am scraps of life there too. Um, I'm scraps of life most places. <laughs> um, so if you can find me one place, you can find me elsewhere. Um, and so I've been, um, I pulled out this old um, handbound journal that I made. And tell you, I made it for 2017 because I thought I was going to do a, a page a week in this journal. And then you can see that I kind of added 2018 because I didn't quite do that. Um, and uh yeah it's i still i still didn't manage to do a page a week because you know things just get in the way but um i'm using this prompt list from tinker lab and um so far i've done the first seven prompts so i was going to show you what we've done so far so i'm trying to get the best angle <laughs> there we go okay so this was the first prompt was dream and I just kind of, you know, it doesn't have to be a literal interpretation. It doesn't have to be anything other than what you want it to be. This is just some colored pencil art and just what I decided to make. The second prompt was bird. And so, well, yeah, I drew a bird. Um, I was kind of proud of myself for this bird. I used, um, oops, <laughs> I used no reference material 
and uh, I still, you know, I'm pretty impressed with how well it came out. Um, I opted not to color it just because I was like, I don't want to mess it up. I might um, scan it and 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 print out a copy or something um, to to color or paint at another time. But right now, I'm just enjoying the line art and how I ended up filling up the whole page, which is not something I always do. So the third um, prompt was water. And rather than do a composition of any sort, I ended up doing some tests with some watercolor markers that I'd had in my stash for a while and just seeing how they reacted differently. And I made little notes to tell to remind myself of, you know, what I did, um, you know, whether I just I, I put the pen, you know, I put the pen marks down and then tried to, to put a lot of water on it or if I did one than the other or if I like up here where it's really faint um i know that i had kind of put down drops of water and then touched the brush tips to it to see if it would kind of spread out and disperse and then over here after i'd done that um when i went to color in later i noticed that it was kind of it was like bleed uh not bleeding but kind of like working its way back into full strength so i thought that was kind of interesting Anyway, sometimes when you're following a prompt list or you're just wanting to have a uh, daily creative practice, then, you know, doing something experimental like this or just kind of getting used to some materials or trying something out, this is fine because it doesn't have to be any one thing. As long as you're creating, as long as you're trying things out, as long as you're, you've got your hands or your brain engaged in something creative, absolutely counts. So um, the next day was magic. And so this is another just kind of not really abstract, but just kind of a free form, intuitive style um, doodle piece of art um, that I then colored. I believe this was with I believe this was with the Kohenar, um, uh, uh woodless colored pencils, um, a set that I really, really loved. And, and so I kind of have like this this orb um down here and from it like all these tendrils of magic are coming up that was kind of what i was thinking and then so we have like these little sparks and these little little frizzins of 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 whatever you know and uh yeah so that was that was day four magic and then <laughs> day five was spots so i got out some other brush markers i had and i just had fun making um, animal spots. So these are like, you know, like jaguar or cheetah spots. These are like Dalmatian or Holstein cow. And then these down here, of course, would be like the giraffe spots kind of things. But really, I mean, they could have been anything. I just, you know, had fun making, making some spots. <laughs> so day six were drips. And I guess this is the closest to a, an actual composition. I mean, I guess some of the other ones were. But this was funny. So the prompt was drips. So the legs are paint drips. You know, I, I got some acrylic paint on a palette and put a lot of water into it. Not so much that it was like translucent, but you know, that it would run. And I had it up on my easel and then I just kind of let it run and let it do what it was, what it was gonna do. Now this one I tried to on the purple one cause it just didn't want to go any farther. Um, it, I tried to kind of coax it and it, it just wasn't having it. So originally, I will admit, originally this were they were going to be noses. I know it's a little gross, but I'm getting over COVID. Oh, by the way, I got my second uh, negative COVID test today. So I am considered clear. Thank goodness. It's been, um, a little over two weeks now, um, since I got sick and I'm quite happy to be, and I'm feeling much better. Um, but I'm quite happy to have that second COVID uh, negative test so that, you know, I feel safer being around people, um, safer that I'm not going to, to, to spread this current variant going around that's incredibly um, highly um, contagious, um, although it does seem to be relatively mild. Still, take it seriously. Be safe. Do all the things. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, the, 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 the drippy nose was kind of um, pertinent <laughs> to my life lately, but when I, when I painted, I just kind of like kind of sketched in the noses with the paintbrush and I'm like, you know, it's not really looking right to me. And I'm like, you know, it kind of looks like legs 
And if this became skirts, so we've got people in skirts with like legs, like in colorful tights and stuff. And then so I, I created like this little scene where they're like sitting on this like little half wall or something um, with some bushes behind them. And then, you know, a nice grassy spot. Now this one, um, due to a request on Instagram, I don't know if it was a true request or not, but I figured why not? You know, they said they wanted it. So, um, and then they tried to sell me on something, but it's okay. <laughs> Um, this one actually is available as a print on uh, thecraftybranch.com and uh, in a couple of different sizes. So I'll put the link down below um, if you want to, you know, get a print of this. Because, I, I mean, I think it did turn out pretty doggone cute. And it's just made up of these three colors, the purple, the pink, and the green. Um, so everything is just a mixture of that. So, yeah, that was that was yesterday's. And then today's, the 7th. Um, was colorful and I'm like well okay I've already done a lot of colorful things and I'm like I thought rainbow first off but eh, it just seems like it's been done I completely forgot that bird was a previous prompt but I ended up drawing I thought I was going to draw like a flower or something and then I decided like after drawing like the third or fourth petal that it kind of more looked like a fan of a peacock and hey, they're colorful, so why not? And I'm like, well, he's over here. I've got all this, this other space. So I, I made another wing over here. Maybe that's like a phoenix wing or something. And then this colorful feather down here, I don't know what bird or animal, what little, you know, dinosaur remnant would have like this gorgeous pink and green um, feather on it. But if so, I'd like to, well, maybe I'd like to meet them. I don't know, some of those... Some of those prehistoric uh, remnants are pretty scary. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the art journal for the week. Now, I've been posting these each day over on Instagram. Um, I will continue to show them off um, here in our little weekly catch-up session. And I want to say that this first week has been, I mean, the first week of the a new year is always kind of, we all have that energy. It's like, yeah, let's let, fresh start. And, and we all, <laughs> we all start out with this great energy, um, but it can fade over time. And it's okay if it fades. It's okay if we miss a day here and there. If we're doing this, a prompt challenge like this, I wrote it in one of my notebooks so I wouldn't have to keep going back to the photo. Uh, but, you know, it's okay if we miss a day, if, if there's a day that's just super busy and you just can't it's okay um you don't even have to make up for it like um something i used to do which would be to go ahead and like i'd go ahead and like pre-date and and put the note of what the prompt was on each journal page or each page in the sketchbook or whatever it was thinking that was going to help me fill them in and then what would happen is when I'd invariably get tied up or overtired or just couldn't get to a day, I'd have this blank spot. And I hated that. And sometimes it would be enough to like stop me in my tracks, to, like completely put the brakes on. And that does no one any good. It certainly didn't do it me any good. So I didn't do that this time. I made my list so that I can refer to it, including the hashtags that we're supposed to use for the challenge and stuff like that. Um, but I did not pre, pre-date and pre-number my sketchbook because guess what? I may choose to do a different, you know, do a page in a different sketchbook. I might choose to do something outside of the sketchbook. Maybe I do something three-dimensional for a prompt. There's no rules. It's a January art challenge, but creativity has, well... There are traditional rules to art, and that's a whole different thing. But creativity in and of itself has no rules. I would say that the only rule that's important is that you don't harm yourself or harm anyone else. To me, that's important. You don't want to, you don't, you know, as, lo as long as you're, you know, you're being safe to, for yourself and you're not hurting those around you, Art is art, you know, don't break any laws if you can help it. I mean, you know, make sure that, you know, it's like, I, I don't go painting a mural on somebody's building without permission. Um, uh, I, I would shy away from something like that. Um, but, 
that's me. I mean, I can't, obviously not everyone agrees with that. And I mean, in, in the greater sense, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so just don't put yourself under so much pressure, but look at it as an opportunity. Like some of these pages, they go super quick, like spots took no time at all. Magic, this one, I sketched it out. I went, I came back and I did, um, some, I did some of the coloring after I went off and did one thing. And then I, did, I mean, it was an all afternoon thing. It was, you know, come and go, come and go. Whereas other ones, you know, they don't take very long at all. And, but just look at it as an opportunity, whether you're doing, um, an art challenge, a sketchbook challenge, um, a photography challenge, you could use the same prompt list and do photographs. Um, or like kind of think of it as a scavenger hunt for each day, or even like try and do it all in a month. And then at the end of the month, post what you've, I mean, there are so many ways to do it. So many ways just to kind of like get your creativity moving. And if you're looking for prompt list, Instagram is great for this. Um, if you're not on Instagram, I've often seen them also on like Pinterest, um, other places, there's all sorts of spaces, or you could just use like a random you can find a random word generator or something. Anyway, um, so that's that's my creative week. Um, what's yours looked like? I would love to know what you've been up to. Um, feel free to tag tag me um, on social media. I, again, I'm Scraps of Life in most places like Instagram um, here on uh, here on YouTube. I have it all. I have it changed so at Scraps of Life will should get to me. Um, I'm on TikTok at, at Scraps of Life. Um, most places I am at Scraps of Life. Facebook, um, well, we don't have that option. But anyway, my links, the pertinent links are down below. And then, um, you know, tag me and then feel free to use the hashtag Our Creative Week because that's what I really want to focus on is just like, what are we doing for ourselves creatively each week? And I didn't want it just to be mine um, because really this year I am focusing on community and, and gathering and building a community, not just, not just gathering for me, but, um, you know, so that I can encourage you. And I'd really love to be able to do that. So anyway, drop me a line down below, um, hit me up on one of the other socials, but I will be back next week. Probably with not such a long <laughs> video. This is the first one of the year, so it's going to be a little bit longer to explain that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing what we all get up to in this coming year. All right. Thank you. Until next time. Bye.